And the Oscar goes to Parasite. This is the first movie from South Korea to be nominated and to win the Oscar. Uh, thank you. Uh, great honor. Um, 이 카테고리 이름이 바뀌었잖아요. 포린 랭귀지에서 인터내셔널로 이름이 바뀌었는데 그 이름 바뀐 첫 번째 상을 받게 돼서 더더욱 의미가 깊고요. The category has a new name now from Best Foreign Language to Best International Feature Film. I'm so happy to be its first recipient under the new name. <웃음> 그 이름이 상징하는 바가 있는데 예, 그 오스카가 추구하는 그 방향에 예, 지지와 박수를 보냅니다. 예. I applaud and support the new direction that this change symbolizes. 그, 예. 이 영화를 함께 만든 우리 멋진 그 배우와 모든 스태프들이 여기 와 있습니다. 예, 우리 사랑하는 송강호님, 이선기훈, 최우식, 장혜진, <웃음> 박명훈, 박서담, 이정은 멋진 배우들. 예. All our loving crew members and cast members are here with us today. Please send a round of applause to the actors and crew members of Parasite. Yeah. And our great cinematographer Hong Kyung Pyo, and production designer Lee Ha Jun, and editor Yang Jin Mo, and wonderful our uh, 우리 모든 예술가들에게 찬사를 보냅니다. Yeah. I congratulate all the great artists here tonight. Yeah. 그리고 저의 비전을 실현할 수 있게 해준 yeah, 바른 손과 또 CJ와 니온의 모든 분들께 또 감사드립니다. Yeah. I also thank everyone at 바른 손, CJ, and Neon who allowed me to actualize my vision. Yeah. Thank you, and yeah, I'm ready, ready to drink tonight, so <laughs> until next morning, thank you. And the Oscar goes to Brad Pitt. Thank you. This is incredible, really incredible. Brad Pitt took home his first acting Oscar on Sunday night for his role in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And he gave a rare shout out to his six children during his acceptance speech. This is for my kids who color everything I do. I adore you. Brad also had a message for his director, Quentin Tarantino. I love the ethos you gave Cliff Booth. Look for the best in people, expect the worst, but look for the best. And said this to his co star, Leonardo DiCaprio Leo, I'll ride on your coattails any day, man. The view's fantastic. Brad got a little nostalgic on stage. I'm not one to look back, but this has made me do so, and I, I think of my folks taking me to the drive-in to see Butch and Sundance, and loading up my car and moving out here, and Gina and Ridley giving me my first shot, to all the wonderful people I've met along the way. And also got a little political. They told me I only have 45 seconds up here, which is 45 seconds more than the Senate gave John Bolton this week. I'm thinking maybe Quentin does a movie about it, and in the end, the adults do the right thing. And he perfectly wrapped things up with a nod to his movie. Once upon a time in Hollywood, he bet the truth. E.T. spoke with Brad ahead of the show, where he wasn't so sure he would take home the Oscar. What does this night mean, and what it could be, and the excitement of tonight? Um, it is that. It's our, you know, it's our highest honor, and it's exciting, you know, it's a long... It's a, it's a long run, so uh, it's exciting to get to the end. It's exciting to, for it to be the, the biggest of the biggest, and it'll be exciting to you know get back to work again. You know what? It's like everybody, but everybody is like, yeah, for Brad. Everybody oh, wants it really for you. Oh, really, that's really sweet. It's true. That's really kind. Do you have more jokes written for tonight? Your BAFTA speech was off the chain, and I think you know you got a few folks. No, I'm going all. I'm going all like downer tonight. Is my plan. Come on, I know you got some. Yeah. Yeah, just get something. him down. Get him down and angry. Oh, yeah. And what will this mean? Do you go home and you hold the Oscar with the kids? Do you run around and you all get a touch of it tonight? I don't think it's going to go that way, but, but I don't know. Who knows? Who knows, man? I just got to get through tonight. I know. Come on, I man. told you what the Globes, I know. <laughs>
I, who knows what's going to happen. And the Oscar goes to Brad Pitt. Thank you. This is incredible. Really incredible. Brad Pitt took home his first acting Oscar on Sunday night for his role in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And he gave a rare shout out to his six children during his acceptance speech. This is for my kids who color everything I do. I adore you. Brad also had a message for his director, Quentin Tarantino. I love the ethos you gave Cliff Booth. Look for the best in people. Expect the worst, but look for the best. And said this to his co-star, Leonardo DiCaprio. Leo, I'll ride on your coattails any day, man. The view's fantastic. Brad got a little nostalgic on stage. I'm not one to look back, but this has made me do so, and I, I think of my folks taking me to the drive-in to see Butch and Sundance and loading up my car and moving out here and Gina and Ridley giving me my first shot to all the wonderful people I've met along the way. And also got a little political. They told me I only have 45 seconds up here, which is 45 seconds more than the Senate gave John Bolton this week. I'm thinking maybe Quentin does a movie about it, and in the end, the adults do the right thing. And he perfectly wrapped things up with a nod to his movie. Once upon a time in Hollywood, I think that's the truth. E.T. spoke with Brad ahead of the show, where he wasn't so sure he would take home the Oscar. What does this night mean, and what it could be, and the excitement of tonight? Um, it is that. It's our, you know, it's our highest honor, and it's exciting. You know, it's a long. It's a, it's a long run, so uh, it's exciting to get to the end. It's exciting to, for it to be the, the biggest of the biggest, and it'll be exciting to you know get back to work again. You know what? It's like everybody, but everybody is like, yeah, well, Brad. Everybody oh, wants it really for you. Sweet. It's that's true. Really, that's really kind. Do you have more jokes written for tonight? Your BAFTA speech was off the chain, and I think you know you got a few folks. No, I'm going all. I'm going all like downer tonight. It's my plan. Come on, I know you got yeah. some. Yeah, just get something. him down. Get him down and angry. Oh, yeah. And what will this mean? Do you go home and you hold the Oscar with the kids? Do you run around and you all get a touch of it tonight? I don't think it's going to go that way, but, but I don't know. Who knows? Who knows, man? I just got to get through tonight. I know. Come on, I man. told you with the Globes. I know. <laughs> I don't, who knows? Joaquin Phoenix Joker. This is the first Oscar and fourth nomination for Joaquin Phoenix. Hi. So, hi. Um, God, I'm full of so much gratitude right now. Uh, and I do not feel elevated above any of my fellow nominees or anyone in this room, because we share the, the same love, the, the love of film, and this form of expression has given me the most extraordinary life. Um, I don't know what I'd be without it. But I think the greatest gift that it's given me, and many of us in this room, is the opportunity to use our voice for the voiceless. I've been thinking a lot about some of the distressing issues that we are facing collectively. And I think at times we feel or we're made to feel that we champion different causes. But for me, I see commonality. I think whether we're talking about gender inequality or racism or queer rights or indigenous rights or animal rights, we're talking about the fight against injustice. We're talking about the fight against the belief that one nation, one people, one race, one gender, or one species has the right to dominate, control, and use and exploit another with impunity. Right. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, I think that we've become very disconnected from the natural world, and many of us, what we're guilty of is an egocentric worldview, the belief that we're the center of the universe, 
We go into the natural world and we plunder it for its resources. We feel entitled to artificially inseminate a cow. And when she gives birth, we steal her baby. Even though her cries of anguish are unmistakable. And then we take her milk that's intended for a calf and we put it in our coffee and our cereal. And I think we fear the idea of personal change because we think that we have to sacrifice something to give something up. But human beings at our best are so inventive and creative and ingenious. And I think that when we use love and compassion as our guiding principles, we can create, develop, and implement systems of change that are beneficial to all sentient beings and to the environment. Now, I've been... I've been a scoundrel in my life. I've been selfish. I've been cruel at times, hard to work with, and ungrateful. But so many of you in this room have given me a second chance. And I think that's when we're at our best, when, when we support each other, not when we cancel each other out for past mistakes, but when we help each other to grow, when we educate each other, when we guide each other towards redemption. That is the best of humanity. I just, I want to, um, when he, when, when, he, when, he was, when he was, when he was 17, my brother wrote this lyric. He said, run to the rescue with love and peace will follow. Thank you.